A third vaccine on the road to being approved. An FDA panel voted unanimously this afternoon to recommend emergency use authorization of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. And that means the FDA will probably be signing off on it this weekend and 4 million doses are ready to go. Johnson & Johnson is a single dose vaccine. It's been 85% effective in preventing severe illness and 100% effective in preventing people from dying. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse explains the impact this could have in Massachusetts. I guess we should just be happy there's one more option coming. The U.S. is one step closer to getting its third vaccine in the fight against COVID-19. Johnson & Johnson's coronavirus vaccine is nearing the end of the FDA approval process. I'm just thankful that they sped this along and maybe we can get to get back to some kind of normalcy. Emergency use authorization. J&J's vaccine clearing a review today by an FDA advisory committee. The single dose shot was developed in collaboration with Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. The Food and Drug Administration says the vaccine is slightly less effective than the current vaccines already in use, but is 85% effective against severe cases. I know J&J &J has been manufacturing the vaccine and has several million doses ready to go. UMass Memorial Medical Center Dr. Richard Klugman says people should not hesitate to take the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It's all about not getting sick and not getting in the hospital. Governor Charlie Baker says having this third vaccine will help speed up the state's distribution process. The beauty of that is it's a one-shot vaccine instead of a two-shot and it doesn't require some of the deep freeze issues that are associated with the uh, Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, which means, among other things, um, it's going to be a lot easier to transport and store. Johnson & Johnson says it'll be able to ship 20 million doses of the vaccine by the end of March. Reporting from Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Mike, thank you.